Right, uh, this is the Ireland team that ran out for the opening Six Nations game. Um, in general, how do you think they fared, Benny? Reasonably well. I think the biggest concern is still around this tight head area because the scrum didn't go particularly well. And if you're on the back foot, very difficult uh, to be able to deal with it. We saw um, a Falatao's try because the back row staying down a bit longer than they might have wanted to do. I don't know whether Ross is going to be back fit in time. If he's not, it's probably a little bit early for Furlong. But you know, Ross, if he does come back in, he's not the fittest around the field. And I thought that was an area that Argentina attacked in the World Cup. That When he got caught in defensive positions out wide, they, they went from there. The other big area for me, and we know that Henderson's missing and how much he adds, but Tono had a good game at the weekend, is what happens here when everyone's fit. Because we're thinking that Sean O'Brien might come back at some point. Does he go straight in for O'Donnell and they leave it like that? But then... They've still got Omani to come back when you know he's out for the season. But when he does come back, that if St Stander still keeps playing as well as he did this weekend, I thought he's superb. He's probably been the form player and the most consistent player. What do they do then? Because Omani adds so much to the team. Do they take him out of the team? Or for the first time ever, I think, Heaslip, maybe people are questioning, will he lose out to Stander? And it's maybe bringing the best out in Heaslip at the moment. He's starting to play really well. I think the competition is definitely helping Jamie's game. I think that competition for Jamie, I suppose he hasn't had a huge amount, I think, with CJ coming in there. I think Jamie had a super game at the weekend, along with CJ and Tommy. Yeah, 21 tackles from Jamie and Jack McGrath as well. Huge performance from him. I just wonder, though, if Sean comes in, what happens with Tommy? Because you also have where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, where is Ruddock. he? Where's Ruddock? Yeah. You also have Ruddock, who covers quite a lot of the back row. So, so what happens there on the bench? <laughs> what do you do with that? Don't give this to me. Uh, <laughs> well, listen, I, I think Tommy O'Donnell had a super game. I think uh, coming in there with Sean O'Brien getting injured earlier in the week, uh, Tommy O'Donnell came in and had a super game, like I say. But if Sean O'Brien does come straight into the team. You want to have a back row probably on the bench who can cover all three positions, and Reese Ruddock is your man for that. Uh, well, I, I mean, I'm glad I'm not going to be making that decision. I'm not going to get well, well, not all anywhere. Yeah, it's all yeah. It's a proper straight back. Uh, I'm gone. It's great to see Tommy back because his injury was horrendous, wasn't it? He in the picked games. up a tear. I think he dislocated his hip in one of the warm up games to the World Cup. A desperate injury. Uh, but incredible how he's come back. He's played some great stuff since coming back for, for Munster. He hasn't had a whole pile of game time, but you know the ga his, his game at the weekend was uh, right up there. You could argue Devon Toner came of age in the weekend, but it is an area where Ireland are a bit light at the moment in terms of players because they're obviously guys left and, and guys who are injured at the moment. Donica Ryan on the bench, of course, and Ruddock probably covers that position as well. How about guys coming through? Who's there? So there, was, there was a lot of talk about, about Ireland's pack and the injuries that we had, and I think that that is the area that they stood up to Wales. I think the back line is, is you know, there's not many changes there. Obviously, we lost Kearney during the week as well, but in the front five, I think McCarthy, Devon Toner and the, the front three really stood up to Wales and, and got us that go forward in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, Alton Delaney, young guy who's coming through, and Ross Maloney as well. But how about the backs, Oz? What's your take well, on look at performance? Murray is, is always going to be there at the minute. He's playing particularly well. Aaron Redding, they've got in the background as well. Sexton is always going to be first choice, but can he physically stand up to the way he's playing? He's getting, he's putting his head in positions that most props don't put their <laughs> head. So let's say he doesn't last the rest of the Six Nations. I'd be amazed if he does. Let's hope he does for his own safety. But what happens then? You have to think that maybe Jackson leapfrogs Madigan. Madigan more of a sort of guy that can cover the bench, more utility, sits on the bench. I think Jackson maybe steps in there and maybe fills that role. Uh, but... You know, we're going to see Sexton this weekend, hopefully. It's interesting, actually. Okay. Joe Schmidt does seem to have a certain fondness for, for Ian Madigan, although he's off to France. And Paddy Jackson, outstanding for Ulster. Does that surprise you? He's yeah, not... I think different types of players. A bit more control, a little bit more flair. And they'll probably watch that at home thinking, hold on a sec, that's the other way around. But that, that's what I think. <laughs> then you get into the midfield, and it's pretty strong. And going to France this weekend, you're going to have to be strong in the midfield. But also, you've got to think of the balance in the back three. Zebo had quite a good game last week, um, but he did run a lot of ball and maybe you want to go to France and think, do you know what? We're actually not going to run that much ball because they're very strong at the breakdown. So maybe you move Payne back there, you take Zebo off, maybe put him on one of the wings, who knows, and then bring this guy into the midfield. Yeah, well, one of the concerns obviously at the weekend is Keith Earls. I think he had a bit of a concussion, so he might be someone who might be struggling, I'm not too sure. Potentially Zebo could go on to that left wing. For me, you have Rob Carney, who should be back from injury as well. I think with the experience that Rob Carney has coming back into a match, going over to Paris, you know, yeah. you want your most experienced men. I thought Henshaw and Payne worked very well together uh, at the weekend. And if Carney is fit, I would imagine he could come in, depending then, obviously, what happens with, Zer uh, with Keith Earls. But 
For me, I would say it will probably be a Sexton, Henshaw and Payne midfield. And it looks like Keith Earls, if it was a concussion, you know, he's probably not going to play. Does this look like the Ireland back line for France to you? Again, it's, it's so much depends. It's so early in the week. Keith Earls, it depends. You know, he. I think they said he has had a concussion, but we don't know how tough it was. So uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. And McCluskey in the mix as well. Hopefully we'll <laughs> yeah. see him at some stage. Yeah, it's it's great to have all it. these guys coming Never through. Never see you so excited. <laughs> 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 <laughs>